Hey, what's up everyone? Today I'm going to be teaching you guys basic pendulum divination. Um, so the, when you're doing any form of magic or divination, you want to make sure you're doing proper conjuration, proper banishings, proper cleansings, um, and you want to make sure you have proper wards and shields set up around your sacred space, okay? This is basics that you want to have whenever you're doing any kind of spiritual or occult practice. Okay? You want to have the foundations before you get into the advanced stuff. Um, and the next thing you want to do whenever you're using pendulum divination um, is you want to vet the entity. So ask it questions that only this entity would know. So this is why it's important to study up on this entity's mythology. Um, another thing that you want to do is you want to make sure that you're not telepathically um, manipulating it. Um, so like as you can see it's spinning regularly right now i'm gonna make it spin yes so it's gonna spin um clockwise now it's gonna spin in the middle now it's going to spin counterclockwise so you guys can't really see it too much but um it's it you can see that i am actually telepathically manipulating it and a lot of magicians whenever they're getting into this they're accidentally manipulating the energy by expecting a specific outcome and not realizing it. Okay, so is there, I'm asking, is there an entity in this room? Okay, now what we're going to do here to test um, the legitimacy of this entity is we're going to play what I call Pendulum Tug of War and you're going to have the entity that you're communicating with try to make it swing a certain way while you're attempting to make it swing a certain way okay so i'm going to make it swing um yes now i ask the entity in my room um my spirit guides um and i give you permission to make it swing in the opposite direction that I am trying to make it swing and I give you permission to interrupt this and um, make it swing in the opposite direction so you may begin so you can see that I am still making it swing but it should um, because it's like a little tug of war um, it's gonna take a little bit here I, yep as you can see when I lost focus um, and now, like, yep, I can feel them beginning to manipulate it. And there we go. Very simple. Okay, and then you can feel how there's a different energy on it now. Okay, and it's all about feeling the difference in the energies as well. Okay. I, I believe this is connected to Archangel Michael. Um, I was also channeling Source earlier, so it could be connected to Source as well. Um, so as you can see, yeah, I lost focus, and now it is swinging in the opposite direction. Um, so a good way to get clear answers is to focus on the entity you're, you're trying to communicate with. Um, have a blink mind. Close your eyes. Ask the question. And whenever you open your eyes without expecting a certain outcome and being open to all answers, um, you will get your answer. Okay? So that's, that's basic. That's basic pendulum divination. Thank you to my spirit guides for helping. Um, so yeah, to sum it up, basically, um, you proper cleansing, proper banishing, proper conjuration, proper warding. You want to make sure your sacred space is kept up. So clean your room, make sure it's presentable. Um, otherwise, you could have lingering energies and that's not good. Um, you want to make sure that you close portals, you close energies. Because um, if you're opening up, uh, let's say, like, uh, gateways to, like, the clip-off, um, you know, banishings are not really going to close that. Um, so if you're opening up uh, gateways or portals, um, banishing is not going to get rid of that. So make sure you close your portals. Um, and, uh, you know, make sure you vet. Watch out for imposters. You know, play spiritual tug-of-war. So that you're not fucking up your own divination with your what you're wanting, um, and keep an open mind. Okay, so that is that is the 
that's that's the basics on pendulum divination. I kind of taught a few things that nobody really um, teaches about. You know, a lot of people you'll see on YouTube, they're like, oh, it's simple. You just hold out your hand and it spins. Yes, but no, it's a little more complicated than that. It is a it's a practice and you, you get better and you learn over time. Um, and that's why you shouldn't listen to the bullshit that you hear most witches on the internet talking about because they will, uh, you know, teach you some stupid shit like fucking, it, it just magically spins and that's it. Or, um, yeah, the tower is a good card. Or, uh, you know, uh, c curses don't have any repercussions, you know? Um, or, um, you know, karma is not real, you know, um, what is source, you know, a lot of these people know what the fuck they're talking about, they don't understand the concepts they're talking about, they're on some stupid bullshit, you know, uh, they think everything is, you know, you snap your fingers and Willy Wonka fucking Harry Potter and manifests, not how it works, okay, um, it, it doesn't work like that, it doesn't, I'm sorry, but not everything is easy, is as easy as people want it to be, um, there are structures and a science behind this. If you understand what the fuck you're doing, this shit's easy. But you have to know what the fuck you're doing. It's not like swish and flick, say a magic word, your fucking dick shoots out a Harry Potter laser. Alright, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you got something from this. Peace.